U.S. authorities confirm another 319 million abacha loot trapped in U.K. France. Before we go into this news, ladies and gentlemen, I say make a thank those of you who to subscribe to my channel. For those who never subscribe, I say make sure subscribe bo, and make sure share. Make sure make sure you don't forget to press that bell sign so that any time when we upload, you don't first get our videos. Now, you don't say. No, na president when be when are they call say na buari na in there. Any the person when are say na buari when they there. Hmm. Ah. The man don't tell na say abacha not be criminal. Abacha not loot money. Even the recent money when they bring come. Uh, that uh, three hundred and eleven million dollars. And sometimes they go see na three hundred and twelve. Sometimes they go see na three thirteen million dollars when they don't bring come. Uh, the the other man, what they call uh, Minister of Justice, when be uh, Abubakar Manami, don't tell him I say na. He don't call him say na assets, say na abacha assets. Na he call him. Hmm? No say abacha loot uh, assets. But if na people won't come from the southeastern part of the country or somewhere else, it will be loot looting money. Hmm? The one when not just a loot do na looting money, but abacha own na assets. Na trillions, na abacha and the family, na the loot come off from Nigerian people treasury. The today, they see they recover the money. Today, now they tell us, say, American people, they don't recover another one again. They don't discover another one again. No, they don't confirm them. Hmm? American authorities confirmed another 319 million abacha loot trapped in the UK and France. Now, you can France, and they, say, they see this one again now. Hmm? Now remember, see the one when they bring come back recently. It be like seeing America, that one from home. This one now, now UK and from, and it don't pass how many years now from Kidi will come back. The news say many many years, ladies and more than ten years. They don't they bring back a butcher's loot. Give Nigerian government, no government when don't pass when they not recover when they not bring back a butcher's loot. Buhari regime now, this regime one a day now. They say they bring the come. So make we take a little look on uh, how they're taking yam the matter. Hmm? The United States Embassy in Nigeria has confirmed the existence of another $319 million loot. About $124.4 billion naira. Looted by former head of state, late dictator Sani Abacha. According to the U.S., the funds are in the United Kingdom, U.K., and France. The revelation came three days after the federal government received three hundred and eleven million dollars repatriated Abacha loot from the United States of America and the Belwick of New Jersey. In a statement on Wednesday, May 6, 2020, titled Return of Stolen Assets to Nigerian People, the U.S. Embassy in Nigeria revealed that there is a separate $167 million in stolen assets in France and another $152 million in the U.K., which is still subject to litigation. One person no more see you. Make una see how now so these people they loot to the APC people. Now so Abbasanjo take looters hands down. Now so Atiku Abu Bakan Abbasanjo take looters hands down. Now so Buhari when none die take looters hands hands down. Now so Aisha Buhari don't take looters hands down. Now so APC and PDP, ladies and gentlemen. Now so all these criminals where they talk say them be politicians, now so they take loot us. Hands down. All these people when I called, including the whole governors in that country, including the whole senators in that country, and I saw that they take the looters hands down. Look at recently, Ihe Dioha, seven months, 19.63 billion. Seven months. So now I can ask and see if you would one year or two years in office, how much you will come loot? I'm back going to make call of Nagosi now. The funds returned last week are direct and separate from 
an additional 167 million in stolen asset as forfeited in the United Kingdom and France, as well as 152 million still in active litigation in the United Kingdom. And the statement said, okay. Again, the retail or say or say banjo lead NCP proposes free health care, improved power for Nigerians. This they are say banjo. This they are robust or say banjo. <laughs> uh, I say no smoke without fire, ladies and gentlemen. No smoke without fire. Suddenly, Oseban just started to wear white. Can you imagine? Every time that white, somebody in white picture, in white uh, attire, in a picture. Now, so that they show us all the time, saying Oseban just. But if Boss Mustafa can have that boldness to come out and speak in public, why Oseban just cannot uh, uh, speak in public? Let me say, every time. Now this is an uh, assistant now. This is a new assistant to Osebanjo. Now him now the nyan. And I don't tell her I make her not forget to. I don't tell her now before my viewers say as soon as this Gambari or Jambari or the uh, the appoint the new chief of staff. Say all the whole people when Abakiari give position before they must to sack all of them one after the other. Even though say they not sack them. At once, then we sack them, jete by jete. They replace them, jete by jete, with new people. Because Abakari went before my president don't die. Now Gambari and Aisha Buhari now then be the president of Nigeria. Hmm? So then go put in people when they like. This one now a president without election. Now him Aisha Buhari be with the Gambari. Then they deceive us with Ose Banjo. The today they continue to deceive us with Ose Banjo. Ose Banjo, you robot people no yam. Ose Banjo do do what people no yam. They not ask of about Ose Banjo. Now that they tell us now say it don't yam again. Make we take a look. Make we take see how in take yam today again. You are telling yam because they say in talk, in come out, in do meeting. Make we hear. Ose Banjo leads NCP. Proposes. Free health care, improved power for Nigerians. <laughs> with the mouth, free health care with the mouth, improved power with the mouth. They don't tell us, see, they won't uh, lift out uh, 100 uh, million people, not be 10 million, 100 million people after they don't fill with their three point agenda. We still they wait for Buhari to lift up 100 million people. We still they wait. The National Council on Privatization NCP in a meeting chaired by the Vice President Professor Yemi Osibanjo San seek the approval for free health care delivery and improved power supply to benefit millions of Nigerians. The Vice President, while presiding over the council meeting on Tuesday, approved the preparation and uh, presentation to President Muhammadu Abwari a draft legislative instrument to enact the health sector reform bill and associated legislation. In a tweet by Laulu Akande, the same guy again, the spokesman to Vice President. It was revealed that among issues discussed by the uh, NCP are the power sector and comprehensive healthcare reforms. He recalled that the critical point of Buhari's administration reform will ensure that several millions of Nigerians who can't afford to pay would receive efficient healthcare service once the new system take off. 
in Nigeria, in Nigeria, and that one go happen. Hmm? Members of this NCP include some ministers, the CBN governor, and the director general of the Bureau of Public Enterprise, who doubled as the secretary of the council. Now, now the guy, the talk, who, the guy won't be seen, him be uh, Oseban just uh, person. Hmm? You be Laulu Akande in a tweet. I they take the general lessons. All right, so we no go to uh, go into this matter because they just want to feel important. The Laulu Akande want to feel important with the way when they when they throw give Nigerian people. So we are not going to emphasize on the Laulu Akande and the uh, uh, the VP. They have already disappeared. Nigerian VP, mm -hmm. it's nowhere to be found again. So. And I know I won't be your battle. Whether I'm gonna go carry these people, talk to them, won't be the northerners, won't be on a counterpart in crime or on a partners in crime or anyway, won't put them in put we no go emphasize too much on the Laolo and the, because that man want to feel important. Hmm? With the why you when they turn and them people. They say fighter jet bombard insurgent hideout. We go read the to be ladies and gentlemen. Fleeing Boko Haram and Islamic State of West Africa province ISWA fighters have, have abandoned their gun trucks as federal troops bombarded the hideout in Bono State. Several of the insurgents were killed in the operation conducted by troops of Sector 1, Operation Lafayette at Gajigana in Ganzoa local government area of the state. Coordinator Defense Media Operations Major General John Ennach said the air, the air task force scrambled each attack, aircraft and helicopter, gunships to provide close air support and engage the Boko Haram terrorists in exchange of Fire with troops. Let's see them talk about that one. Hmm? Another one they tell us about that man they call Wiki. The man wants to be demolish hotels. And after he claims say not do any wrong thing. And I know see when Wiki do that, a lot of people criticize Wiki. A lot of people criticize Wiki. Including Funky D for not using his number six because that thing where Wiki do, Wiki supposed to use that place as isolation centers. Wiki supposed to use that place as school. We make one of the use on a number six. All right, suppose use that place either as isolation center or at school because now they don't demolish now they won't build it because they don't claim now saying won't build something put there yeah, they try to build something put there now see see all the whole governors in nigeria both apc and pdp they have something in the brain that is not uh, working our brains are not functioning normal like you and i hmm? river governor alleges plan to declare state of emergency Latest news, Tribune Online, 19. Make we read a little bit, ladies and gentlemen. We will take close this segment. The River State Government said it has uncovered plan by some Abuja-based citizens of the state to cause a breakdown of law and order so as to declare a state of emergency in the state. It alleges that the same person whose attempt to declare the state of emergency in the state since 2015 have never succeeded because of God intervention. In a statement by a commissioner of information and communication, Polinius Nsarim said the persons had everything within their powers to ensure that the 2019 governorship election result were not announced but also failed. All of us know who they talk now. Now, the same man, no, why don't tell them and see 
he not get time for Nigerian people. Oh. See, he not they do uh, politics because he, he won't save Nigerian people or because you know he won't put things in place. You see, now because of Mbele and to destroy Nigeria, I make him enter politics in the person of Chibu Kamichi. They no go do anything to save Nigeria. They not they there to serve Nigeria. They not they there to save Nigeria you know, because of unemployment and destruction. I make him enter and they continue to destroy. You waiting politicians they talk now. And you see you want one Nigeria. And you see you like APC and PDP. And you say I'm a your brother, I'm a machine your uncle, I'm a machine your friend, I'm a machine politician, I'm a machine as uh his excellency. Which excellency? Excellency my foot. Excellency my foot. The whole governors in Nigeria, nobody when would they regard as any excellency here. Nobody. The whole ministers, none. The president, none. You want to claim, say you be an excellency. You have to do waiting excellency people they do. You have to provide for your people. You have to care for your people. You have to care about your people and start doing good things. You have to fulfill your promises. You cannot come out and tell us, see, you be integrity man, you be inte uh, excellency and you are not doing nothing. For your people, instead of you to do something for your people, you you fight against them instead of doing good things for them. You they fight against them, and you want people to call your excellency. I go As the build up for the twenty twenty three election and the just two for presidential and vice president ticket is gathering momentum, they don't start to. The same people and then, and then once they continue to rule after twenty twenty three, your Nigerian people now got to wake up. When I got to wake up from on a slumber, oh, the same people, they don't they gather momentum again oh, when they want to kill this time around. Eh? <laughs> this time around, I don't want on again. Oh, make we begin to the one right now. On oh, when they go for 2023. And the ones when we say there be PDP and APC supporters. Hmm? <laughs> Nigerian people, when I got to shine on oh, eye ah, this time around. This time around. So that that country, eh? Go disintegrate because these people I don't see them to who they are. I don't see all the whole promises where they don't make to now. Since 2015, they come nothing. Then now they don't they gather momentum for 2023. I say, I wonder and I thunder who won't come across saying won't become Nigerian president in APC or PDP. They want to use COVID 19 to create a crisis as if the state is at war with the federal government. The statement read, it added that they have decided to create unnecessary tension as if indigenous of Ahoda, Elome, and Portacourt are fighting with Northerners not to carry out their legitimate businesses. So, uh, we'll stop here. I see if you have never subscribed before, make sure subscribe and make sure they share. If you don't hear, Waking now, they cry now. Say they won't cause some kind of commotion in his state, according to him, because of 2023. People won't, won't become president and vice president. We well, don't hear what we talk before. Say Operation Lafia Dole. They don't destroy the Boko Haram camps, hmm? and uh, so on and so forth. One love, everybody, and see you guys next time.